Hello, Wisconsin Lutheran School family. Let's begin our chapel devotion in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tomorrow you're going to be sitting down for Thanksgiving meal and maybe you'll have the traditional turkey dinner. Maybe it'll be something else. But as you do that, and really any time you sit down to eat at home, what is it that you do first? Well, maybe you're told, go wash your hands or go use the restroom. Maybe turn off the TV or put your toys away or get off your phone. There are various preparations that you make, perhaps before you actually sit down and actually take a bite to eat. I know that at school, that before your meals, you do something in common. Oh, maybe you do some of those things too, but you also take a moment to pray, to have a mealtime prayer. And I know that each class may be, be praying something just a little bit different as far as their mealtime prayer, but one that's kind of a common prayer throughout all of it is one that most of you probably have memorized. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. You know those prayers, I'm sure. You've heard them and prayed them yourself. Come, Lord Jesus, we say. We want Jesus to be a part of our meal. We want him to be with us as we dine around the table, and eat the good things that we have to eat. Let these gifts to us be blessed. We're asking the Lord to bless the food that we're receiving so that it might serve to help our bodies, to nourish our bodies, to make our bodies strong, and to help us grow. And then we speak the words, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Do you know that that is actually in the Bible? It's in the Psalms a few times. Psalm 118 verse 1, for instance, is where that particular verse is found. We give thanks to the Lord for the food that we receive because without it, we couldn't survive. And God is the one who provides it for us. And so it's good for us to give thanks to God at that time, at the end of our meal. And food is certainly not the only thing that God provides for us. Oh, he provides for us so much more, doesn't he? I want you to think about just today alone, Think about what he provides you. Last night, I bet you slept in a bed. God provided that for you, didn't he? This morning you got up and you breathed and you walked and you're able to talk. Those are blessings from the Lord too. You have someone at home that takes good care of you. Blessings from the Lord. You have a school that you can come to each and every day. That's a blessing from the Lord. And you have teachers who are willing and eager to help you with your learning. They are such blessings from the Lord. As we celebrate Thanksgiving this week, we want to take time to give thanks for all those things and especially give thanks for the, the special blessings that God gives us. He makes us a part of his own family. Yes, God is our father and Jesus is our brother. Thanks be to God for those gifts. He also provides us with fellow believers brothers and sisters in Christ, in other words, your classmates and friends at school and, and others as well 
that he provides as part of the family. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Jesus forgives all your sins. For that, you can give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Jesus gives you his word so that you can learn more and more about him and about his kingdom. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And Jesus promises that he's always going to be with you. Always. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. So this Thanksgiving day, as you celebrate, as you sit down and eat or any time during the day, make sure that you give thanks to the Lord. Take time to give thanks for the gifts that he gives to you. The gifts that you might take for granted at times, but gifts nonetheless that are from his merciful hand. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for the blessings you give us each day. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to be our savior. Lead us to thank you for your blessings every day. Amen. God bless your day.